Hello, this is Maker Jason one and today I'm doing a slightly different sort of video, and that's because today is a special day. So, and that's because I have just gotten my 500th amazing subscriber, so thank you all very much for subscribing. Um, a special thanks also goes out to user zero for being my 500th subscriber, so thank you all. Um, I also just today um, got 297,000 total video views on my channel, so um, that's a pretty big number there, almost a quarter of a million there, so that's pretty good. Um, and I've only had my channel for about one and a half years, so so yeah, thank you all for subscribing. Um, so I think today um, we are going to, I'm going to um, show you a few close-up videos of my um, Tesla coil, some of the plasma, um, so that should be pretty cool. And then we're going to um, pop this um, monitor here with a... Uh, with a sledgehammer, phot photonic induction style, so that should be a bit of fun there. Um, and I might put in a few other cool clips um, here and there of something popping or... So yeah. Alright, so I've got that light bulb sitting on my um, Tesla coil right now. So, and it's on, so I'll just get it to produce some plasma here. There we go. It's really amazing how much plasma it creates there. But, um, I'm guessing that this is this light bulb is filled with some special gas or something but not the normal gas because most light bulbs don't do this and burned out ones don't do this either just this just the new ones do that the clear new ones so it's kind of weird but I mean it it does amazing plasma even when it's not touching the globe or the um, top lid top lid there um, but it's really cool and then here are those um, flashlight light bulbs on here. I'm guessing they're xenon or something. Um, gas inside. But they make some pretty cool little effects. There's like spikes coming out of it when you just get close to it. And then this one does more sparky. Or it's, there's more sparks coming. Or arcs inside this one. And it actually makes the filament glow there a bit. Alright, but here's a little light bulb um, that I have on the side of my Tesla coil here. This is just a little 12 volt lamp. Um, but there we go. It's making some cool plasma there. My camera gets out of focus fast. I don't know why it does that. But, um, but yeah, it works pretty good there, the plasma. It's like orange colored. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Alright, so here's a nice close-up shot of the um, plasma from my Tesla coil. Um, so this is with the top load removed. And as you can see, it's about 0.5 centimeters, 5 millimeters there. And it will actually burn paper. As you can see. And if you just get it close, so that just the stream of plasma is hitting it, it'll start browning the paper a little bit. Oh, we've got some smoke there. <laughs> and then another cool thing that you can do is if you take a light bulb like this, oops, camera out, and just hold it down here so that the, the um, base isn't grounded, touch that part to it, lights up a little bit. So, it's kind of cool. But I'm guessing that's just because the energy is radiating off of the filament, because one end of the filament is um, a lot brighter than the other end. So, that's be just because of the resistance, I guess. But it's kind of cool. Alright, so Christmas light bulbs have an ingenious little device inside of them that can be kind of annoying, but at the same, same time it's quite, quite ingenious. Um, so there's the filament at the top there, um, at the ends of the wires, and then down above that glass bead there's a bunch of little strands of wire. You can probably just barely see it on the video here, but um, those strands of wire are wrapped around there a bunch of times, and they are coated with a very thin coating that when they have enough voltage across them, it will break down and start conducting electricity. So what happens is if the light bulb on the string burns out, so the filament burns out, then what will happen is that little wire there, the, the bulb will have about 120 volts across it because all the other light bulbs are not drawing any current. So the amount of voltage this little bulb will, the one burned out bulb will receive is much more, so it might be 120 volts. So then 
that little wire will break down the coating on there and it'll start conducting electricity, turning the string back on. But the only thing is then all the other bulbs will burn a little bit brighter and they'll burn out faster. So you have to, as soon as you get some bulbs that are that turn off, um, that go black, um, you need to replace them or else the rest of you, the bulbs on your string will go bad. So, so these are all bad bulbs here and I'm going to pop them. So they pop quite good on 120 volts. But see, some of them actually the wire goes bad because the film is still good but the um, little wire across there must have um, gotten contact um, so it must have rubbed or something. So what I have here is a plastic box and some alligator clips and plug it in and then we switch it on so it's plugged in and here we go pop so that was a nice little pop so I'll give you some slow motion um, footage of that All right, last one. All right, that's all of them. You never would have thought that um, burned out Christmas light bulbs would be so fun and cool. Just always thought they were boring, but that's not true. But the filament inside vaporizes in some of these and they don't blow up. And you get, it all turns all silvery, but yep. It's kind of cool. They make nice little fireworks. All right, so first I thought I'd show you that you can get some high voltage from these. Um, this one doesn't seem to be one. It's too picky, so the older ones are usually the ones you can do that with. So I'm going to turn it on right now. It's on. And it should. All right, you can hear the corona coming off there. Sounds pretty evil, but it's it's high voltage, but it doesn't. It just shuts off once you get a, a spark or two. That's it. It's dead now, so yeah, it's too picky to use it as a high voltage um, power supply. So it's time to smash it. All right, so I've got it all gutted. So there's a circuit board there. Um, not much useful stuff on there. Maybe the transistor might come in handy. Um, flyback. It's pretty small though, but um, and here's the yoke. So good bit of copper in there. Not really the useful kind because it's the multi-strand stuff. Um, so it's not really very useful, um, but this coil around here is real nice. Um, that has a good bit of wire in there, and it's good for um, some wireless experiments um, and stuff like that. And then here's the other coil. Um, that coil is also good for um, all kinds of different things. So time to put the casing back on and take it out to the garage and smash it. All right, so I brought the um, the CRT out into the garage here. And I've also set up um, some things for the camera. So this piece of glass right here is where this camera is going to sit because this one can take 240 frames per second. Um, so I'm going to have this one sitting on this board right here and recording in high speed. And then I've got an old, another camera here. This is an older, um, this uses a mini VHS tape, um, just a camcorder that's going to be recording in normal um, so that I can have sound. Um, but I won't be able to slow this sound down, sadly, because I don't have any editing program but that's okay and then I've also got a uh, just a stop there because usually the glass comes out of the screen so that'll kind of stop it from going all over the garage and then the main piece of action right here sledgehammer it's pretty pretty big one so 
that's what I'm going to be standing right here and bust it up. So here it goes. Here we go. Sledgehammer ready. That was pretty nice. I did not expect that much of a bang from such a small CRT, but it knocked the shockwave actually knocked this um, camera over. So <laughs> the one that was behind the glass that was recording in slow motion. So <laughs> it's pretty cool. But there's some cool patterns in the glass right there where it oh the, just the the sheet just the top layer kind of like broke. There's the metal part out, and there's the getter, or I believe that's what that is. I'm going to want that. Supposedly if you p put that in water, it will start fizzing and all kinds of crazy stuff. So I want to try that. Wow, the, black, the back piece didn't actually break that very much. It's kind of neat. There's the... I believe that that's the high voltage connector. No, that's not. That looks like something else. There's the electron gun assembly. I'll probably keep that. Even the back pieces of glass are still pretty thick. But the screen is pretty thick too. So yeah. That was pretty fun. The glass didn't go quite as far as I thought it would, but still pretty fun. So yeah. All right, so those were some pretty nice pops and bangs there and uh, some nice shots of plasma from my Tesla coil. So um, as always, thanks for watching and um, thanks for subscribing. Um, I really appreciate that. And if you're not already a subscriber, um, please consider it. It's much appreciated. Um, and also, all of you keep posting the amazing comments. I really, really appreciate that. It helps a lot um, for me to make more videos. Um, and I also learn a lot from them. And I'm sure other people learn a lot from the comments, too. Um, so, yeah, um, as always, thanks for watching. And enjoy my videos.